taxes. I don't know anyone that likes taxes other than the tax man. Now, if you're considering moving to North Carolina, I know taxes can be a big role in determining whether it's right for you or not. So in this video, that's exactly what we're going to talk about is some of the taxes we pay and how much the average might be that's going to cost you. So first off, let's talk about income tax. In North Carolina, we have a 5.25% straight income tax. That means whether you make a hundred thousand a year or fifty thousand a year, it's still the same percentage. This makes it easier for if you get a raise or maybe a different job, you're still paying the same amount of tax, and it makes it a little easier to figure, easier to file. While it might make it easier, it can be kind of a shock from someone coming from a state that might have I don't know zero percent income tax, like Washington State, Nevada, Alaska, Wyoming, South Dakota, Tennessee, Texas, New Hampshire and Florida. Now we do also have sales tax, which is around 4.75%. And on top of that, you can get a local tax up to 2.75%. So that means you could end up paying around around 6.9, let's just call it 7% uh, sales tax on things you buy around the state. Now a big thing I see uh, with clients I've dealt with is property tax. It's assessed on a county by county basis. Uh, down below, I've linked a map to show you what counties are the least and what counties are the most. It can be anywhere around 0.33% to around 1% of the estimated value. The highest county in North Carolina is Scotland County. I really couldn't tell you why because I really couldn't tell you what's in Scotland County. I don't know that I've ever even been through it. So let's look at a property tax example uh, for houses. So in today's market, if you got a house listed or appraised at around the $245,000 mark, your yearly tax amount, assuming the city, assuming the house is outside of the city limits, and in around Davidson County, which is in the center of the state, that would be around $1,166 per year in property tax that you'd be paying. That amount can be shockingly low to some people in uh, some of our northern states or other states that have a extremely high property tax or even the house price itself can be extremely low considering uh, they're not used to houses in that price range. Even on some of the more elaborate houses, uh, for example, there's one listed right now uh, for around $1.35 million. The yearly property tax on it is just over $7,000. That is half of what I've talked to some other clients that live in, say, New York are paying on their property tax with an appraised value of their home at around 400 mark. That's why a lot of people are really liking North Carolina or looking at North Carolina because their money just goes further. Now, for those of you that might be looking to retire to North Carolina, we also have a Homestead Exemption Act. So for those of you 65 years or older or permanently disabled, you don't have to pay any property tax. But the, here's the catch is you can only, you have to make under a certain amount. Um, so it's not all rainbows and sunshine. It's more for those that are uh, in dire need. Um, they just don't have the income to pay their property tax that they have. And it gives them a little bit of a, you know, they get to stay there at least and not have to sell their homestead instead of, you know, downsizing to a condo or something like that. Now, a little bit of good news for those of you looking to retire to North Carolina is that Social Security is not taxed in North Carolina. Now, the downside is you better be getting some good Social Security uh, because if you have a side job or anything like that, that's going to be taxed as regular income pay and that will be taxed at normal rates. So be sure to consult a CPA to see how much income tax versus Social Security you should be getting to uh, get the best tax benefits for you. Now, for those of you that's looking to move to North Carolina and bring your business with you or perhaps start a business in North Carolina, it's known as a business-friendly state. North Carolina has one of the lowest corporate taxes in the nation at just over 2%. This could save you a lot of money if you're coming from places like Iowa, New Jersey, or Pennsylvania that's around 10%. Now, our last little thing to note is vehicle property tax and tag taxes. Now, I know this gets me as a shock every time I change vehicles and have to get new tags, but there's a 3% title transfer tax. So when you go to get those new tags at your vehicle that you're so excited about, just consider there's going to be a few extra hundred dollars that you're going to have to pony up to get those tags. Plus, you're going to have a yearly tax on that vehicle, depending on what county you live in. So for example, if it's a 
vehicle appraised around $20,000, the car would be taxed around $252 a year. So listen, I hope that video was a little bit helpful, a little more informative, and I hope a couple of these videos are helpful too. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.